us to get here, bro. Transformation is about to go down, baby. Uh -uh. Make sure you tune into the channel. like this for so now. Robert Graves. And actually, you know, I'm actually added. taking off because I want to. I want to check that process on the way. So they sand the inside so the tire won't spin on the rim, so it grips better. That's for, crazy. for racing. For drag racing. I mean, right? for the front, it really doesn't matter, but the rear, it matters. Right, right. For the takeoff. Yeah, that's why if you feel it, it look, it feels like they took sandpaper to it. They sanded oh, the, the yeah, lip. Oh yeah, you can feel that. Yeah, they didn't do this. They just did the part where it's actually the rim, the tire is actually touching. So, when I got my Rotobox wheels, when Rotobox first came out, like seven years ago or whatever, they used regular rubber bushings, uh, cush drives. I ended up having to get a second set because they recommend it because they wear out. Right. So I ended up buying a second set of, of rubber bushings just to have as a spare because they said it's recommended. Well, I guess because so many people were complaining that they wear out so fast, so they actually went with polyurethane. So oh, polyurethane man. bushings last like 10 times longer than rubber. Oh. So these will out, these will last way longer than regular rubber. So that's actually a smart upgrade that they did. I like I like what they did there. That was smart that they did that because that's a, that was a known issue. But they did that later on, after after the whole after the, the after the fact. Probably people were complaining that the that they were wearing out. So yeah, these are definitely polyurethane bushings. So he went with a uh, 42? 41. 41. I ordered him a 42 as a spare, as a backup. I'm putting a, a Loctite because from personal prior experience, uh, if you just put a dab of Loctite, these bolts still come loose. Yeah. On my 14, that happened to three times. And on my R1, it happened too. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. That's why I'm putting like a nice like blob of oxide. And I clean the threads with the with alcohol. But usually I just stop right now, but you see how I'm putting like I'm putting like a nice blob of it on. But this is uh this is um it's it's not red. It's like a blue, so it, yeah. it's gonna come off easy. Yeah, but it'll hold. Yeah, it'll hold, but it's not gonna lock the rim. Lock the sprocket onto the hub like a red lock. Oh, okay. This is this is like a, it's like a blue. It's a medium strong. Oh, and there's another trick too. Um, I'll show you in a second. And this is actually from uh, guys that race. So. Because, you know, the sprocket is going this way. When you tighten the bolts, always put pressure, forward pressure on the sprocket and then tighten the bolts. Oh. Because if not, you'll literally shear the teeth off. I never if, knew if, that. If Alex plans on drag racing. So like, I'm just gonna snug it up now by hand and I'm putting forward pressure. So I'm getting rid of the little gap. Oh, okay. The space. Because if not, and if this sprocket moves, it literally will shear the teeth right off. Oh yeah, you don't want that. So I'm, I'm putting forward forward pressure. I mean, that's good now, I'm just gonna, now I just have to tighten it. Ready and balanced. Yeah, 
pressure on this tire was corrected. Up to 90 miles an hour, you know, he's probably doing like 130. 120 with the small one, I want 30 with the big one. But, but the battery life, oh man, you're doing them speeds, it's ridiculous. How do you feel about this place? I've, as long as I've been riding, yeah, I've just been coming here. I'll, I'll work right? for a while. You now, know. this was an upgrade and a blessing. I had prayed for this for him for a long time, and the opportunity, uh, you know, presented itself. And you know why that is? When you, you have good people around you, you get good energy, good things come to you. So very true. Uh, there we go. There we go. So now, getting the. Uh, Hmm? You still have a free sneaker now? No, 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 not that day. Huh? Hey, look. Look at that. That looks like an empty sneaker. That would be one of the hoses. I don't know. Maybe it was from before, but... Hmm. You know what? I think after I got it back, it could have been like it wasn't secure. It wasn't like that before I sent it out. You watched the damage all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was at, um, I never got over 170, 170, 180 or so. But it's due for a flush anyway. But thanks for the heads up. You know what? It, that, could that be it? This clamp over here. I might need a new hose. That, that's the next project. I think it's that hose right here. Yep, I mm -hmm. think so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like you need a hose. You can change them and get the, the, the good hoses. Oh, the sample? Steve, the sample? I don't know the name, but the good hoses. Okay. Not the stock, they got better hoses. Okay. Steve puts, puts it on all his bikes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the one Mike got. Yeah, because after I sent the bike uh, up for the upgrade, I, I noticed, I'm like, okay, maybe. Hmm. It should have been shaken loose. You know what I mean? So, right. and you, you can use this to rest the, the rear tire on. Okay. And this is Loctite, and this is the tool. Yeah. See what size. So, Steve, it looks like I need a hose. You need a hose, look. So, oh. you see, this whole thing is covered in anti -freeze. Oh. And you can see the top of the hose. Yeah. yeah well, see, that's, that might be an eight. If not, just see if you can turn it a little bit. Because it's what, it might be loose. Okay. Well, wow. yeah, because uh, maybe, maybe like after, it. you know, uh, it, we got it back from Carpenter, the stuff might have, I want to say that it wasn't fastened, but now it's building up more heat, could be pressure pushing it down. So, the Zeus needs some maintenance, just a little bit, just a little bit. Your chain but, needs a TLC. Well, I didn't get to clean, clean it, I haven't been writing it. Yeah, your chain needs uh, definite. It, it, it's not. Is it because it's sprocket or just like the? No, it needs it needs TLC. Uh, oh, this. Oh, that's your rattle. This. Yeah, yeah, that's just uh, it, broke it, it broke off. So I have to put the. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna just take it off. Why do you want us to take care of the chain too, or you're gonna do it? Uh, it needs adjusting and lubing it. Well, I mean, since you're gonna take it off, right. I'll do the cleaning. But can you do the, at least the adjustment? Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right. When you do it, just adjust it a little bit because it's, it's loose. But you know what, Steve? That's been happening more often ever since the upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it's like. Well, you got an aftermarket chain. Well, that's a good chain. Huh? Yeah. Every time I bring Zeus to the doctor, I gotta get get him fixed up. Like.
Especially with this guy in his S1000, he, yeah, he fucking moves. Right here. <laughs> Man, you're probably going to get some, some of that drone footage up, up and running. But yeah, man. So, the story behind these, as y'all already know, Will Lanhart, also a ZX14 rider, hooked me up with these. And for sentimental value, and I'm going to hold on to them. Always good to have, like, a backup, you know? But uh, one thing I was learning as we were discussing with the benefit of having these versus the aluminum forge, you know, yeah, they're a little lighter than OEM, but at the same time, too, if you hit a nasty pothole, it, 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 they could crack, you know? So uh, it seems some horror stories, but it's, that's not why I'm getting out of swapping them out. It's just I got a good deal on these. So. That being said, you know, we were at the shop uh, a few weeks ago, or well, actually two weeks ago when I had dropped the, the wheels off. You, you saw in the background, Brock's threw the, the wheel <laughs> up and then it just bounced off. So it's not all carbon fibers are the same. Like the newer ones, they have that uh, metal rim in it so that it, it can bend and go back into place, you know. Once you get a dent on one of these, or boom, so that's the it. Is... You know, so, just a little lesson. Did you oh, right from wheel or no? 
Huh? Would you bring the front wheel? Oh, shoot. No, no, I gotta put this tire on the, the rear. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so, so do the rear. I know what I'm That's doing. lock tight right there. And uh, and just all you have to do is oh, just take the rotor off. Like, can can the the this, usually what I do is I take, I separate the calendar. We are from back the in business. Here's how the front looks. I was telling Alex that's how it would look if it was stretched. Oh, like at that distance? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like that, that, it looks good and it's not even on the bike. Oh, oh man. Dude. So, check it, check it, check it. Look how good this is. Look how good this is. And the weight. Man. Yeah, no, it looks amazing. It looks sexy, yeah. fantabulous. And you, you see, the tire is still relatively new. Yeah, because yeah, we put that, mm -hmm. that tire on. So, the front tire is garbage, but the rear tire is still good. Yeah. That's why I said don't swap it. Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, your that tire is still good too, but. But you see, for the dyno, I can't use that, right? But for what? For whooping, yeah. For whooping. <laughs> <laughs> for whooping on the highway. He's like, is good. and that's how he made me feel better about. But for whooping, like, okay, <laughs> and that, that that fixes everything. Yeah. Why are you still not going back to the dyno? Or? Well, I need to still. So. But I mean, I, I still have that, and then you know, I got all this set up. I can put this back on you, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, I was, what I was mm -hmm. is uh, I like the upgrade that they did on the rear rim. They went with the polyurethane bushings instead of the rubber because the rubber wears out. Right, right. So right. there's polyurethane bushings in there. That that comes with uh, the rotor box, right? Not the old, not when they first initially came. No, out. this is the newer one. This is the newer one. Right. So the new ones that came out, those the ones on my bike are not polyurethane. I had they still have. The you rubber. know what's crazy? There was a. Uh... They were talking about the, how they were changing the tech. Oh, this was the first one, right? There's rocket was, eh, it's still not. But it's not like Carmine's. No, 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 that still, you could still get some life out of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, man. No, because my arm was sprocket was like that. When I took it, when I swapped my sprocket, it looked like that. I was, I was see, not going to swap it. this for me? But I had the wheel off, so I was like. Now here's the thing, like you see how you put the safety wire on here? Yeah, you can't do it with that because it's you have to use those special bolts. Oh, uh, okay. But I put a whole lot of Loctite. Okay. And I want you to come back next week or two, and I'll check everything the bolts over again. Hey, but yeah. I, 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 I yanked them pretty, pretty hard. All right. And I put like that much Loctite on okay. the threads. Now you know what? So now you, you hear that? So that actually goes through this man. Yeah, I've, this I've been riding for a long time. You know, since uh, 2010, 2011, and I've known him ever since. Well, you gotta put the bracket on. He, he, he's one of the few people on. I trust with my yeah, machine. And, and just and Absolute like, cycle. Here, all the way in New Jersey. You check them out, like, look. Pick up the wheel the same They will way. hook you up. They will hook you up. They hooked up Geo. The space you're shooting. Yeah. So it looks like. Uh, you come check them out. Check them out. That's so. I'm excited. Here, give me a I'm excited. Here. Yeah, yeah, even, even right, I was like, yeah, it's gonna be I'll hold that faster yeah, with that. Hold it yeah. the Less, uh, yeah, because it. it turns out, I don't think I've, you said it on video, screen. they came with worldwide bearings yeah. already. See? So, the bulk of bearings I got, we're probably How, gonna the hold them. I, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Long, but, uh, Just like yeah, I was, was a lot like further like along than I thought, so. Worldwide bearings, motor box boost. Shinko hookup. Man, it's like Christmas. And, and oh, we're in December. Let's, let's no. 
10 days away. So, but uh, yeah, it's working out, man. Snake, uh, I'm telling you, bro. We'll come down to NC. We're gonna have some fun, man. You yeah, good fun. But he's like all carving down, so he got me on weight. You know, so. Oh, uh, we'll see. Oh, man. I feel like a ninja up in here. <laughs> oh, gee, I appreciate you, brother. Okay, and my man. phone was like oh, done and done. Yeah, it's only at 9%. Beat the hell out of it. Yeah, that sprocket is beat up. Um, so, uh, Alex, we're using the white lube because that's a premium uh, lubricant of uh, Steve's Cycle Shop. Uh, uh, <laughs> Steve and his lube. <laughs> it's a uh, premium product. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Man. So, so, I got like two or three more trips back here. Got to take care of the brake, got to do the hoses. Steve, for the semicolon hoses, uh, what do they go for? Because I, I got to um, get this changed. On the 14, I'm not sure, but. I don't think they're that expensive for the 14. Okay. Is, are they a pain to put in? Uh, I, I do. I bought them. I just never put them on my bike. On my 14. Why not? You see, Steve be messing around. He has a 14 with no fairings, right? And he's just like, oh, oh less weight. It's for Why aerodynamics. Be We've been fighting over this stuff. One day, I'm going I'm to see if, if Rose will let me into his garage. I'm going to just bolt them all on. You guys run around with no fairings. Steve, it drives me nuts. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, yep, it's in. So go ahead. Too far. Too far. Go ahead. Uh, it's going to stop because it's not perfectly going here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Perfect. It's in. It's in. <laughs> there we go. It actually, it actually fit a tad tight, but with the premium white lube that I've used, it's, uh, it's not it slipped in very easily. Nothing wrong with being tight. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm trying to keep this PG <laughs> because YouTube is going to get me, man. It slipped in so easily. Oh, my goodness. Terrible. That's why it's... Wow, they're, they're the first, first of two. And these guys are working super fast, man. Freaking awesome. Here, I'll hold this to the door and hold this to the side. Oh, here, here's the... We have, we have to do it again. Why? Because the space is up right now. And put my Puig um, that uh, I had at the Dino Shootout. Just just had that really Knight Rider good. stuff. I knew there's stuff no monster, but so I think it's going to be good stuff. Just make sure it's, it's not... I got to get you to the house, man. Isn't it... Uh, no, it's not going to rain tomorrow, right? No, T tomorrow's supposed to be... Yeah. That's why I'm going to fly the drones tomorrow. <laughs> and they're going to be nice. But it's Sunday. Uh, what is it? Saturday night yeah, into, cool into Sunday and then Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. in, in December, the folks still riding. That's crazy. That is crazy, right? right? I mean, it was a little chilly, and good thing I have the heated grips. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. You know, folks not like arguing about not having heated grips on their bike. Why would you not like Kawasaki? For the newer revisions, that should be coming with the bike. Quick shifter should come with the bike, you know? Adjustable pegs should, well, I, I get that, uh, you know, that's a novelty thing, but, you know, there's just certain things that should come Spaces with the bike. for the old one, right? Yeah, that's for the old one. You can take it with you. Uh, yeah, I'll just get a few things out the way. Or get some tape from uh, Steve and just tape everything together so it doesn't come out. Right, right. Uh, I'm not sure which side this goes on. All right, so this one is complete, so it's, I guess. Oh, they had to do something custom on over here, I remember. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to get tape or. Yeah, there's another one here. And look, you drove through some. Oh, no. something? An animal or something. Yeah, they, they got like dead skunks and all that craziness. So, here, here. Okay. Where is the sprocket? The old sprocket. It's oh, no, 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 because we did yeah, yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. So like I said, you can tape it so it stays together. Mm -hmm. Or just put them in your pocket kind of thing. But okay. Your rabbit tissue just wrapping in tissue. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wrapping in. 
Because, uh, or if I had, like, I have long zip ties at home, I better just do that. You got stuff up front, too. There's a lot of space in here that's going to come out, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know why? Because we had a makeshift some. Yeah, I, I, that's right. Matter of fact, I, I was singing you guys praises for that because yeah, that was, it wasn't yeah. fit me initially, you know? So. Alright, I'm just going to put this in here for now. I like the blacked out look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. got to clean your chain. No, I, I got the, everything that you gave me, I have the wax, all that good stuff, so. But I do need, I'm gonna do the brakes, I need the, the hoses. But if you didn't put the Samco hoses, let me buy them off for you, and then you buy your stuff on that. The only bad thing, no, I will, the only bad thing is green. It doesn't match your bike. So, you would have to do red or black. Well, I'm going black, because yeah. Zeus is going back to black. That's how I got them. Oh, you don't want red? Put some black tape on it. That, that should work. And then with the bearings on there, as you said, I have a little more fluid spin. The bearings actually spin really nice. I actually took I took one of the outer seals off. That's why I looked. Mm -hmm. They don't look like stock bearings. They look like yeah, they, they, they're, they're definitely the thing, you know. So where you listen to that noise? That's the bracket. Shift. Yeah, the bracket on because the, the because the axle. Moves. No, the. You're, you're, you're concerned about that noise? Oh, what's wrong? What is, is it too much play? Oh, actually, is it real tight? Uh, it is, yeah. Yeah, the chain is too tight, that's why. That's why you're yeah. spinning freely, right? Yeah, loosen, you gotta loosen the chain. Well, no, because when we tighten the knot, well, no, it's gonna be even tighter. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, loosen, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta loosen the chain. The that looks a little. I mean, the, chain, chain, the chain is tight already. You didn't even tighten the. You didn't even tighten that the nut yet. Mm -hmm. The the ZX14 is supposed to be 1.3 inches of uh, 1.3. Okay. Yeah. 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 And you know what's the uh, same under the light? You can actually see the ripping. Yeah. On my, on my uh, ZX12, I have the red carbon fiber review. The mm -hmm. front is just a regular black. I didn't even put it on yet. It's still on oh, it's a carbon? Yeah, it's still on a box. I still have that chrome rim on. See, Steve is messing around right here. You know? Oh, so you went black and red? Uh, it's Actually, like on somebody's the, bike. On the, on, the, on the 12, I did. <laughs> you know why? Because the fairings were black already. Mm. And and my whole and I actually have a bunch of bikes that are black and red. My Honda's black and red. My actually no, my boost no. Wait, how many bikes though? Oh, the the six hundred the six hundred the, 600, the 600 double well, R nice is theme. black is gonna be a black and red theme. So that the the ZX12 and oh the R1 R1 is black and red. So uh, the plan will be. That uh, when that other garage is completely cleaned out, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to park my Camaro. I'm going to refit my Camaro and actually fix it up now that I'm going to have a garage for it. Yeah. So I'm going to restore that car and I'm going to keep it garage kept. And all my bikes are going to be here, or at least half. Yeah. So we're in the 14 here, so we could give you a reason to bring and, it up. And I have an office. See, you messing around with this guy. And I have an office, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a, an extra suit here. And I'm gonna install a shower. I can literally jump in the shower, throw a suit on, pull a bike out, and go to Seaside without having to do the whole process of going home. This should be the meal of my bikes. You just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna have bikes and a suit and a shower and clothes in both locations. So I'm only so I'll be so I could I could be quick. Instead of it being two hours, yeah. I could be ready in less than an hour. Yeah. Shower, we got the gas station. Get dressed, right suit, so. and, and the bikes. At least here, if I need to pull out a bike, this will be me. That's how easy so it is. That's it. That's how that's easy it is to pull my bike out. Instead of, instead of me having to move like 30 things out of the way in my garage, just to get one bike out. That's like a steel <laughs> No, but you know why? Because I have like 13 years, and I have so much stuff in that, in that shop, and that shop is the size of this garage. No, actually, this is bigger. <laughs> It's like, it's like this garage is like the size of my whole shop. And I still have another garage, right. three offices, 
and a whole storefront. Well, kind of if he decides to work with my predator people, we could probably start helping us to sell them here. Maybe some good stuff, man. Steve, you want to check the chain? Yeah. You trying to go not? Not yet, but I'm going oh. Too much, right? Yeah, still, you have to lose your number. Over. It's all about the, the details, folks. And that's the thing, they don't, like they, they don't skimp. They don't, skimp. They don't, they don't yeah. rush, they take well, their no, time. Tight. They don't rush. No. Oh, that's why I asked you. You said that that's not tight. No, no, no. this is tight. I said that it's tight to this. Oh, so they're not, so they're not as tight. Okay, so yeah, so leave it like that. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, who's going to feel different with that tire and then the... Well, I mean, the tire is going to, it's more flat, but the wheels are lighter, so it's going to turn in quicker. Okay. I'm actually going to, I'll probably squirt some uh, lube on that chain. Yeah, no, I, I mean... You and lube, this guy. And then pretty nice. So I, I did like a little video in the middle. I do like the before and after. And you know, I do a salute to Core Motors. Core Motors was, was great to me. Never had any issues. And just, you know, that was the next place to go. Um, after I do, you know, some maintenance, some, some housekeeping, the Olin's suspension, that's next. And probably, I don't want to copy off a of snake, but like carbon is like a thing, you know? So, and I have a wonderful job that, that allows me to do this. So why not? Why not? I was even considering that, uh, that subframe by uh, AGE or AGM, I forget the, on the ZX14 page, uh, one of the guys, he makes them and you, it, it, it's supposed to drop about like eight pounds or so off the, off the sub, but it's mainly for racing. So when you do that, you won't really, it's not going to be recommended to take passengers. You know, so that's something I also, but I don't take passengers. So that's something I'm thinking about. We'll see. It's all about that weight reduction, folks. So now that front tire is going in. <laughs> Uh, he has CBR just like that one, but it needs some TLC, like just some stuff, you know. But the chain is like I don't need to change it, do I? Not just yet. I mean, the chain, the chain needs some TLC because it's kind of dried out. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not. It's not horrible. It's salvageable, but mm -hmm. no, I'm just saying, like in terms of replacement, I still got life in it, right? No frozen links, nothing like that. So, I'm just excited. I'm just going to see how this goes. Yeah, that's it. You do have, you have a tight spot in a loose spot. Mm -hmm. Like right there is a tight spot, but it's actually okay. It's within, the tight spot is within the spec. Okay. So, Steve, can you pass me the loop? Which one? <laughs> he tried not to go <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's going to be the running joke, folks. Oh, you know, you need help. So the next time, uh, man, Gio's getting his bike work done. And if you hear the loop jokes uh, on, on, you know, on your channel, they'll know what's going on, you know? Not just the regular loop, it's the white loop. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm just going to nod my head up right now, man. <laughs> And see now with that install, it, it's not even on. It's looking good. Like you, you see that? Mm. Yeah, you can see that. Mm. Now, Steve, with the spacers on this, this was easier than what you, you and Arthur did with the Cormo. Oh yeah, because it slipped right in because it came off of the Z14. Right. Um, I mean, the spacer was a little tight on the back, but the, the tires actually uh, mount a lot easier. But, yeah, because I know you and Arthur were going through hell trying to get. This one looks a little bad. Yeah, the tire is now easier with the uh, hard part of this. Yeah. 
the harder part yeah, of But we had a spacer issue on this one. Oh, yeah. 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 Because you know, that, you, you have to get like an extra one, right? Yeah, that, you, well, yeah you know, I had to see spacers in my shop. Okay. Then you know what, Arthur said you have to cut one just to... Yeah, we cut one in half. We've done that probably at least 10 times this, this year. Really? You know, after, after, after that? Or before? Before and after. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that. Dang. And then, so I joke is, uh, every time we did it, it was all like, uh, it was all like, you know, it was a problem. Yeah, it's an boost. Worldwide barriers. Welcome back. I mean, hey, these guys are working out right here. To think, or not, you know, if, if you come on a Saturday uh, in season, it, it's it's hectic, you know. But uh, yeah, these guys got me here. What? I got here at six thirty, having a good time, and like about eight. So think about it. If I if I didn't have this garage, I'd be doing this in the dark. Pretty much. I mean, even though I have light in front of my shop, it's not that bright. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's just it's for like. It's just for like by the door. Yeah. So for the folks who has look, good things come to those who win, you know? Everything is as it should. So Steve, I, I'm gonna like in my head I'm fast forwarding like a year. And all of this is gonna look fire, man. I tell you. Oh, if I have time to paint, yeah, man, I would do some crap. The ideas I had with other shops that I, I started doing some stuff, yeah. but I had to stop because I got so busy. Yeah. I, I was gonna do like murals and paint different colors, like each room. Mm -hmm. So my whole thing, which yeah. you can see, Look at that. kind of started in my shop. Yeah. Each room was going to be, mm -hmm. and then the other garage would be all green. green. Yeah. And then at each room, mm -hmm. I'll have pictures. Come on, I'm, I'm going to send the bat signal out, right? You have some wonderful ideas. Like, let's do the Avengers and get together and then hook this up. I mean, between his garage, this, and all that, I mean, we can celebrate our hobby, support our local business people, and then go from there. Yeah. Just like I'm supporting, you know, Revenue to Ventures, formerly the ZXTV. We take care of each other, you know? Like, if you run with a platoon or a squad or a pack, there's nothing you can't achieve. So that, that's what it goes down to. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, the bike looks so different with the rims, yeah. I know, it just, it, the aesthetic <laughs> just changed. Yeah. You know, once, hold on back, I want you to zoom in on this, baby. 650, zoom in on this, baby. There's gonna be some good stuff. This is premium stuff right here, you know, so. To the seller, thank you so much. Thank you, I'm for Just, I, you know, I'm gonna be riding like super slow, like just like trying to avoid bumps and everything. I'm just like, just paranoid. But I'm not, I have to invite positivity. So I'm gonna get home safe, fine. The Texas guys are all good. Not everything's gonna be fine. But it's just, you know, like I said, I had my natural reservation about doing uh, carbon fiber. But hey. That long man road feels long like the Isle of Man track. Like it's so for our Discord folks, the snake. Long metal road was. There's that's what you if you come up here, this guy. We got some roads like what was that? What was that Arden Valley road? Oh my god, it has like a J or a, a tight corkscrew turn. I remember the first time we went up there. Like, if you don't see it, it's like, oh, it, it's still going? It's still going? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But we went down, it was like kind of like a snake spiral, like Snake Mountain from Masters of the Universe or something. You get down there, and then it, it was it was tight. It was to the point where the guy behind me, I'm like, get, just get ahead of me. I need somebody to so I can mimic their turns and their apexes. But when we were coming back, we are kind of going on an incline. Once you know it, now you're like getting into it. But I was just too tired, gassed, going up to go back down again. But I'm telling you, Gio, if you haven't been, you gotta come with us, man. We missed out this season because I every weekend that we were gonna go, it rained. And I got my bike back late. 
Yeah, well, you know, everything for a reason and when it's supposed to, you know? You could have got the bike back and got the bit, you know? Yeah, so see, like, it's good that you waited and it's good that I waited. Yeah. You waited, now you have a bike that's very fast. It's a whooping <laughs> It's fast enough. See, you saw the that. video, right? That when he blew past me, I, I was just, I was waving him forward because that, like, I'll I say saying, again, I rode his bike. I, I think it's probably one of the fastest 14s I rode. Yeah, it, it's, oof. it was up there, man. I was like, oh, okay. That thing is so responsive. No, when, when he did that flat so bike, I, I was just like, oh, that's why I put the sound effects in there. I'm like, oh, that, that's literally what I felt inside because I shook. I'm like, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Let me tell you, don't sleep on Rocky. That, that 14 is no joke. No joke. No, so. I can't wait till I have it fully with every little other thing that I want to add to it, and then I'll be done. Yeah, I only got two places to go: the suspension and full carpet on the, the body, and the rest is on me. Man, it's like a whole different. I feel like I'm playing Riot on Xbox, and then you know it's you like a whole different bike all of a sudden, right? No, just wait till I put the black back on. And then that's, that's, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm gonna send out pictures tomorrow. You're gonna be looking like Batman style. Right, right, right. I, I remember you said I was looking like Batman when my shirt blew open, like if I lost blood. Yeah, and yeah. And, and everything was flying I wish, there. I wish I had, you seen that video you posted uh, with the guy with the stick in the back, how he had a cape. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like that. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man, that, that, that's why I post those videos because he has the, the 360 on the back. Yeah. And then he has like, you know, it, it, I put like the Man of Steel from uh, Chris, what's that? Zack Snyder, Man of Steel, that with the dramatic like, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, man, I love that stuff, you know? Because that's why I feel like a superhero on this thing, you know? And that with the Predator helmet and all that stuff, it just, uh, as a kid, I always wanted to feel invincible. I wanted to feel like I wanted to fly. And this is the closest thing to it. It sure does make you feel like that. Yes, sir. So Steve, that low profile front tire that definitely felt different. Like, I, I feel like you could kind of get into it. And I wasn't even strapped. All the way. That's why I said it kind of feels, it makes you feel like you're strapped, man, not even strapped. Right, right, right. You guys are awesome, man. So, plus it lights up, actually, it's a lighter tire. Mm -hmm. it's less but Brad made a good point. Like, I could be rising up a little more now, because now I don't have the, the weight. Well, you, you're you going to pipe popping wheelie is easier now. But with I don't want to do it. I was advised not to wheelie with, with the, the... And you know it's going to wheelie even more, because that tire is going to hook. When it heats up, it's going to hook easier than that, and it's going to hook and lift up. Oh, it's gonna feel like extra 10, 15 horses. Yeah. You know what? You said that in the last uh, yeah. last time. We were it's gonna. Here. What's gonna happen is it's gonna spin a little bit, catch. It's gonna hook. It's gonna and take it. off, and the, the front wheel, the, the front will come off. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's gonna. Because I used to bust. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I used to bust um, wheelies and stuff, and then that was I with leaky forks on my ZX10, and uh, I got more life out of the bike oh, okay. uh, or my bikes getting rid of that. The most I'll do is like burnouts and stuff, so. But see, with uh, the Chico now, right? Doesn't it take time to warm up? Uh, in this weather, weather yeah. Yeah, that, that's where I'm gonna go a little, I'm gonna be gingerly with it. The rear you did 60, right? Yeah. So, these guys were miracles, man, I tell you. All right, I appreciate you, man. But to, to just so you know, I'm saying it on the record, that this guy is freaking awesome. And he, he really got me like hooked on droning. Like, so if anybody well, sees me doing yeah, videos and stuff, that's his fault. <laughs> but in a good way, you know? I gotta pump it. So, I gotta put it down. I think yeah. what, one of my plans yeah. is I'm going to Round Valley with my DJI Mini 3. Still haven't been there. Now, I have two drones that have active track or follow me. I'm gonna send the drone up so while we're going through Round Valley, it's gonna follow us. As long as we're not going over 40 miles an hour, so it doesn't lose us, you know? So we will have to start at Round Valley so that I can set the home. And then if it gets lost or we lose it, it'll go back and then we can go back and get it. Okay, you know? yeah. But that day I will have a backpack, so I won't be going super fast, but you know, I'll go fast enough. I found out one night uh, with me, Gil, Moto Mac, leaving the screen machines, 
You, you have a backpack, it's gonna be like a parachute. Like, even when you're tucking. Holding you back. Yeah, so that, that's literally, I remember, um, I don't even think, I don't think 650 even remembers this, but after I met him at the bike show, he was doing a bike giveaway in New York. And uh, I said, yeah, I'm gonna come on and like, uh, you know, mess around with them. He's like, he had his drone with them. He's like, he's gonna be kind of gimped. Now I understand. So, Mr. E, you were right. 100%. I had to feel it to truly understand how much drag that, that creates, you know? So, they do have those backpacks that are aerodynamic, but it's still some mass that air has to go over. So, that's gonna slightly slow it down. Yeah. Yeah.